Hi guys, hope you're all okay. As if by magic, your name is Darwin, not hi guys. Hello, Bubba. Yes, good boy. Um, I've got a little bit of a collective haul for you today. You sit down, sit down. Come on, good boy. Um, I've got a bit of a collective haul for you today. The plan was to do a Poundland haul today, and I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit disappointed with Poundland. Um, I didn't burst into flames, it's okay. Uh, so I've seen some really good Poundland hauls online lately, um, both on YouTube and Instagram. But yeah, my Poundland wasn't living up to my requirements. Uh, I then went over to Primark, because um, there's this red skirt that Emma Millard did in um, a Fashion Friday video that I am officially in love with um, and I was like well I'll go over there and buy that because I was that side of town yeah nope not not only did they it wasn't like they just they didn't even have it in my size they just didn't have it I even asked the lady I showed her the picture that I'd screenshotted of Emma wearing it um sorry Emma uh, <laughs> and um yeah she told me that they hadn't had it in stock and I'm sure Emma's video must have gone live three weeks ago so it's not even like it was in stock it sold out they've not had it and it's like damn it so i then went to tk max <laughs> so it's it's a bit of a mishmash gilly gilly beach what are you doing sorry guys um it's because i'm sat here and i've got bags and they're intrigued but yeah right stop rambling let's show you what i've got so excuse me darling First bag is a Timbles, Thimbles Fabric and Crafts because it's not just Christmas stuff and not just stuff I've bought. Oh, first thing, <laughs> it's the Boots Christmas Guide, which gives me great enjoyment. I went to Boots, all I bought was my lunch, so I bought some sushi and some of their salt and vinegar spirals and their diet cream soda, but obviously I bet. And drank that. Um, that was actually the only like I bought my lunch in boots basically. Um, the things that came in this bag, I haven't bought these, but I'm gonna show you because I love them. Gilly! <laughs> it's not a toy, get back. Sorry, guys. Uh my clever mummy made me some fabric pumpkins. I was talking to her. <laughs> Hello, Darwin. They think they're toys. Um, I was talking to her the other day about how I'd seen a DIY on YouTube and I really wanted to make it, but I don't have any skills and my mum's really clever at crafting. Um, so she's made me three fabric pumpkins. I've left one at work, so I've got like autumnal decor on my desk before the Christmas decorations come out. But yeah, I love it. I just think it's really nice. So this has got like a paisley print and sunflowers. Um, and then there's a giant one. I love this one's little twiggy bit. But yeah, they are my fabric pumpkins that I did not buy, but they're in the bag, so you're getting to see them. She also made me this wall hanging, which is like a quilted Thanksgiving turkey. Obviously, we don't do Thanksgiving in the UK, but it's very autumnal. My clever mummy made that for me. Um, to go with my autumn decor um but it's also in the bag so that's why you're ooh, getting to see it um right poundland um christmas decorations uh these are a nine pack of tree decks they're mini ones um i think i'm going to put some of them on i have a what's well, technically an easter tree in my hallway um and at christmas i put mini like little Christmas decorations up on there um now it's like there's a unicorn and a dinosaur and a cupcake to be completely honest I bought it for the sloth and I quite like the rainbow I'm not quite sure if the others maybe the llama I'm not sure if these will get used I might use them to put them onto presents that I've wrapped for little people you know like next to the name tag when you're wrapping presents um and, you know, it's a pound for nine, so if you like to decorate the parcels that you wrap, these are probably a good shout. Um, 
but I just like the, the sloth and the rainbow, so I got those. And then I got, oh, some hand soap, no drama llama, um, cool coconut um, imperial leather. Got a gilly trying to get up on the sofa. Sorry. Gil, what are you doing? Sorry, guys. It's been a while. This is the first sit-down video I've recorded at home in about a month. So, we're getting used to it again. The boys are not used to this happening. <laughs> right, next bag. TK Maxx. Um. Do, do, do. Oh, and this is not... I got a new rim block. Um, but I got this from Wilco because um, they didn't have any in my Poundland. And Poundland always have this kind of thing. But they didn't have any, so I went to Wilco because I needed one. It was a pound. Um, oh, I've still got Poundland things in here. So I got some eyeshadow. Um, this is by Manhattan, which is a quite a cheap brand. Um and it is the M Square Dancer and Button Baby and they're very mini but they're like eyeshadow quads I don't know how well you can see that I don't know if they're any good I just like it was a pound so like 50p each I don't know I got carried away a little bit I'm like I keep on thinking Oh, it's autumn. Let's do some orangey brown. Orange, really? It's like I bought myself uh, a orange, an orange t-shirt and it's got ginger, sporty, scary, baby, posh, pumpkin on it. Like, as in the Spice Girls. Uh, and pumpkin spice, obs. And I've put it on, I think, like three times and then taking it straight off again because it is very orange. In my head, I like the whole idea, like it's autumn, let's do some orange and, and I can carry the yellows that I like, but the orange just, every time I put one on, I have to take it off again. It just doesn't work with my coloring, I think. Um, This is a rambly haul. And then I got some shower gel from Poundland as well. So this is the water fusions. I've tried the rose water, and now Gilly, Darwin's got a toy, I'm sorry guys. Um, I've had the rose, rose water one of these before and this is the apple and melon. And it smells very melony, which makes me happy. I like, I like that a lot. Again, panned. All right, I think everything else is from TK Maxx, yeah. So, in the reduced section of TK Maxx, I got myself four, no, I got myself three um, CRT nail polishes, which is very happy, for the bargain price of £1.70. Um, recommended retail, 18 quid. Now, they had quite a few of these boxes, but most only had two polishes in. Um, but the boxes were in good condition. This box is a little bit battered and ripped. Um, but I'm not using it as a gift. I'm going to keep the colours myself. So I was quite all right with that. £1.70 for, for three polishes. So I've got the shade um, Culture Noir, Noir. Noir. Culture Noir, which is like a glittery, we're not going to focus type colour. This video is going to be a quickie and it's getting long. Um, and then I've got Mineral Positivity, which again is like another sparkly one. And then it's not very seasonal, but Loop the Loop, which is quite a nice yellow. It's a good spring Easter colour, that one. So yeah, £1.70 for all three. So happy with that. And then I really wanted, I've seen all these people sharing again in TK Maxx halls sharing these beautiful candles that they bought very autumnal very pumpkin and apple -y and yeah mine had none of that but they did have this one by DW Home and I've had a few of these DW Home ones from TK Maxx before um, and this is in sandalwood myrrh so obviously more Christmas than anything else and it's a very dark very 
masculine spa like scent if that makes sense i it's not probably the best way of describing something but it's a lot of my candles are, are floral or sweet but sometimes i do like a what i would call a masculine candle it's it's just really good and it's like 2.99 and it's a good size does it have a burn time on here it doesn't have a burn time but it's saying it's 3.9 ounces so it's not a small one but it is you know if you compare it to the size of the nail polish it's a good size and say it was 2.99 and then the best thing the best thing that i bought very happy um I, again i've seen a few people on instagram and i didn't and it was while i was in poland i was seeing all these people sharing on instagram that they found one um and i was like there's no way there's going to be any left by the time we get back from poland but there was um i this if you don't know is an emma bridgewater cup i love emma bridgewater stuff um i there used to be two shops in Truro, which is the city i work in um that st sold emma bridgewater stuff um and i used to go in and look at it quite a lot and i don't own very much emma bridgewater because it is pricey um like you can get a really nice cup for less than a fiver you know sometimes poundland have really nice cups for a quid um this size cup from emma bridgewater should be 20 pounds um this was this was being sold in tk max for 12.99 the pumpkin one so yeah um so if you ever get any discounted emma bridgewater stuff send me the link because i love it i just don't quite love the full price of it <laughs> they had the rooster ones um there as well and they also had the wild bird ones but i've got a lot of the polka dot range well i say a lot i've got some <laughs> polka dot range and the the pink hearts but i just very happy and i know some people will be like going oh my god you've paid 13 quid for a cup but it makes me happy so yeah that is my rambly collective haul i hope you've enjoyed it um, I hope you have a good day and yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.